My diet has been on point since Monday. Just so y'all know. <laughs> Push these niggas off me like ooh. Push these bitches off me like ooh. Push these niggas off me like ooh. Push my snakes, I'm pushing the flames I'm pushing them all on me like ooh. Push them all off me like ooh. Yeah <laughs> I be a mood to shit Cooking the bloom and shit Don't wanna sell me shit Know you a joke, my asses are close I hell at the moon and shit Know the result, the balance is here Man, I'm about to boom again Good morning, everybody. Today is a fit vlog, even though I feel like shit vlog. Okay, I don't really feel bad. But um, this whole week, what is this? Like 10:30. I know it is. Um, my phone is not in here. Yeah, I know it's. I know it's about 10:30. Okay, I just know. When the last time I looked at the phone or the freaking clock, it was like 10:05. Anyway. Um, this whole week I've been dog free. Mm, love it for me. Love it for me. I actually miss Ye, but the only reason I miss Ye, this is bad. It's like my routine has been messed up. So I came here and was like, I feel like shit vlog, but I really don't feel bad. I have been sleeping in because I don't have to get up. So yeah, like the first day, which was Monday, because he left Monday morning. Um, like early morning when I was asleep. No, actually, if we're gonna talk about Monday morning. That was not my fault. I had been woken up by him leaving at 3 a.m. And I didn't go back to sleep till 7 when I should have been getting up then. So then I slept till like 12. Anyway, yesterday was Tuesday and I still didn't get up to like 10. Y'all, I'll be at the gym at 10 o'clock. And today I got up at like 9.30. So it's getting better. But girl, I've been enjoying this little sleep. So um, I don't like to go to the gym late because especially when I'm filming in the gym. Because the later you wait, the more people that be up in there. It makes sense. Make it make sense. But I really don't feel bad. It's just that um, I've been getting some good ass sleep in. And because I don't have responsibilities per se since that MF are gone. I haven't been doing nothing. Yesterday I was on the phone for two hours. That's unheard of for me. Because what you doing them two hours? Sitting here on the phone. Didn't do nothing. Anyway, y'all. Um, then I'd be complaining about I don't have time because I waste it. Because I love wasted time. I actually love to waste it because it feels good. And I know I love to waste it because how I love to lay up in this bed and not do nothing. What is that? Wasting time. Love it for me. Going to the gym today. Going to hit some backs. I missed my freaking workout schedule has been off because I'm sleep plus be doing cardio today because it's Wednesday. But I didn't go to the gym on Monday because I woke up too late and I had to like pack orders and stuff. So I'm off, but it's back day. I want to show y'all a little physique. Like, y'all, look at my stomach. Look at it. Hold on, wait, there's more. Look how these doggone um, camera worked out or how the shelves work out. Y'all sitting on the Ikea shelf. So let me not turn around. Girl, y'all know the drill. I have been real crappy with my diet, y'all. Y'all know, y'all see the last weekend vlog. Girl, this cut went to the wayside for a lot this month because I don't know, but whatever. And then, I was gonna just say, forget it, like in entirety, I'm not gonna worry about it because my birthday is in a week now. Oh my God, tomorrow will be exactly a week is when I'm gonna start my uh, other vlog, like for the rest of those little days. Anyway, I'm dramatic. Um, Yeah, I was gonna just say forget it, but then I was like, no, no, we're not, we're not gonna do that. And I told y'all when I'm alone by myself, I do everything I'm supposed to do. My diet has been on point since Monday just so y'all know <laughs> y'all i'm sorry but i'm finna start just trying to be and i'm not 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 like i'm not gonna leave the house and talk to people but my relationship might have to suffer because it is getting in the way of what i i, I don't know we don't need to have this conversation please anyway everything's been great since monday i was gonna just throw it out to the wayside but i was like no i hope it's not too dark in here but i don't want to lift these blinds and my neighbors see my bear behind um, but yeah, y'all, she's buff, she's really, really buff, <laughs> y'all, oh my god, like, it's the shake for me, my waist is still not the smallest, I actually, this whole cut maybe lost an inch, maybe an inch and a half, I don't know, because I be 
measuring wrong because sometimes I be pulling it way too tight. But I can just see. And then I'm looking like at the shape of my waist like in comparison to like my legs and how they spread out. Y'all know, miss feeling the hip dips. Why would I feel this in? I get it, but like, I see this and this makes me know that my legs are like doing the thing. So if I feel them in, girl, I don't like that. We know you had surgery done when you don't have the hip dips. Why would you fucking, I done got on the soapbox now. No, I don't want to feel that shit. Why? This shit looks awesome. Okay, y'all, so look, I don't know what y'all could or could not see on the shelf. But, yeah, she looks good. She looks great. She looks fucking muscular. I'm proud of me. Proud of me. And I just want to say, the last vlog I put, y'all left all these nice comments to me. I don't deserve y'all because I'm ungrateful, apparently, because I be complaining. But no thanks, y'all. I go through a lot. And it be my own self-sabotaging in my head. Like, for instance, I'm filming now, and I feel good, and I feel great for the film. Before I got on this camera, y'all, y'all know how hard it was for me to get on this camera. I was just now over here like, I don't want to do this shit. Fuck it. Why? Why don't you want to show up for the people that's constantly showing up for you? I'm a shitty person for that. For real. Hurry up with my damn massage. Hurry up with my damn menage. Get the Porsche out the damn garage. I am God. Even though I'm a man of God. My whole life in the hand of God. So y'all better quit playing with God. Soon as they like you, make them unlike you. This kiss of people ass is so unlike you. The only rapper compared to Michael. So here's a few hating ass niggas to fight you. And here's a few stink ass niggas to fight you. I don't even want to hear about what niggas might do. Old niggas mentally still in high school. with my damn croissants. Okay, y'all, let's get into this workout. I am super excited. Everything you saw beforehand was a warm up. So I did the row machine for three minutes and then I did some um, arm and back exercises with some free weights. They were very lightweight, five to 10 pounds. So y'all, this is me starting my actual workout. So I'm doing a barbell row. This is the first time I've ever attempted a barbell row on a Smith machine. So you see me trying to adjust my like footing because girl, this did not feel good. Y'all know I also record myself, not just for content for y'all, but to check my form. I do not like the Smith machine for reasons y'all are about to see. So this looks okay. You know, I did uh, three sets. It got better and better as I did it. I said, let me go ahead and up the weight, stop playing. The first set was 30 pounds on each, uh, well, 15 pounds on each side, so 30 pounds total. And I did 10 reps. I was like, girl, stop playing. We're gonna go ahead and do these 25 pounds on each side and now it's 50, like the weight is 50. But look at this angle, y'all. So I moved the camera to see myself and so for y'all to see. My arms, I mean, I felt it. I feel like it is said, I felt it, right? But look at the way it looks. Like, why are my arms out and not to the side? So I hate the Smith machine because it's hard to actually, like, you can't move anything. The bar is attached. So, like, you got to work with what you got. I don't know if that was okay. I did feel it. 
but it doesn't look like it was right which is why i hate the suit machine because there's nothing you can do you can't really adjust nothing the bar it is how it is right our anatomy is not all the same okay so i went back adjust the weight again because i'm that nigga all right so now we got 60 pounds um total so what 30 on each side and again from the side you look legit but I don't know, y'all. From the back, that shit was not looking like how it was supposed to look. So I don't know. Anybody that lift, y'all let me know. Do y'all mess with the Smith machine? Because I do not mess with the Smith machine. Okay, second exercise on the damn Smith machine. Never done this either. This is a overhead press. Now, this was fine on the Smith machine. I actually like it better on the Smith machine. Because um, my weight is going to be low anyway. I suck at any upper body movements. My back is okay. But see, this is a lot of chest and arms and shoulders, right? So, I did 10 reps on the first set at 30 pounds. And I did not go up on weight. Every damn set is 30 pounds. Do y'all see me? Look at my face. Look at my face. I am struggling. Over here, hip thrusting 300 pounds. Dead lifting 300 pounds. But look at this. A mess. Okay, y'all. But anyway, so yeah, that is an overhead press. First time on Smith Machine, it was fine. I usually just do it with the regular barbell, but there is a place for the Smith Machine. I also don't mind hip thrust on the Smith Machine because it's easier to load it up. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, this particular gym only has one freaky Smith Machine, so I just try to get it when it's open and it's not open a lot because it's just one. So maybe when I go and do a glute or leg day workout, I can try to get some damn, you know, uh, hip thrust in there and show y'all. But yeah, so that's was my second set. I didn't film my third set because it literally was the same thing. I didn't up the weight or anything. So then we're going to move on to lateral raises. And I did these in my warm-ups um, with five pound uh, free weights. But I'm using the dumbbells now and lateral raises ain't no hole y'all might say what 10 pack girl come on with it lateral raises y'all see i have a slight bend in my arm that's important your arms should not just be straight out and baby this is a shoulder movement y'all see my little like my look at my little bicep area is that my bicep whatever that part of my arm that's like under my arm do y'all see it trying to have some muscle definition on my trip okay well anyway so look we're gonna do face pulls and this was new too i've just started doing face pulls like within this particular workout program so i've been doing it for what maybe two months but i've never done it kneeling and look at that do y'all see that rope down there okay the exercise is face pull so what you doing and do y'all see my body jerking no control of the weight but i fixed it y'all see me pull it up this is why you record yourself so now i pulled it up and i'm gonna do my second set right i pulled it up and I'm not jerking again. So this is the second set. I was like, come on, Britt. Stop playing. That first set was sloppy because it was new. And I didn't do it right. But if y'all see the adjustment in the second set is more controlled. I'm not jerking. That is a face pull. That rope attacking is almost hitting me in the face. Okay? Love this for me. So, yeah, I did three sets of these. Um, the first time I did with 50 pounds and I moved up to 70. So this is 70 pounds. I went up 20 pounds because don't play with me. What's up? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, last uh, movement of strength training. So this is just a cable bicep, bicep curls. So look, I did 25 is the weight here, and I did um, 12 reps. I did three sets. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, so for my cardio, y'all, instead of giving them the treadmill, I was like, baby, look, I want to jump rope. I want to jump rope. And I was like, if I could just do 300, I wanted to do 500 jumps, but I was like, you can just do 300. You that girl, you that girl. Baby, I did 500. I was like, no, we is going to complete this. I was so proud of myself. But I completed 500 jumps or 500 skips or whatever. And y'all, my shins is hurting right now. It's the next day as I'm recording and editing this. My shins is hurting, but look, it all paid off. Look at that. Look at that shape. Come on, shape. Come on, shape. Y'all, I am so proud of me. I love everything about the journey. I hope y'all loving it too. Again, I don't. I didn't really time it. It might have took 10, 15 minutes because I did break. I'm not going to lie. I break like after every 100 or so <laughs> skips. But yeah, I did that. So I have been eating the same version of this like every day for like over a week. Y'all already know what it is. We got some diced potatoes, some um, turkey sausage crumbles, egg whites, a shit ton. I went OD with the egg whites today and some shredded cheese. Y'all, this is 42 grams of protein and 580 calories. Look how much food this is. Like, this is my favorite meal of the day. I should eat it for dinner too. I really love it because it's so filling. It's really good. And the macros are chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. It's me about to do the bare minimum and then reward myself. <laughs> 
I'm about to uh, run some errands, drop off packages. I gotta return some stuff to Best Buy and GNC. But I know I want something good. So like, what I mean that I want a smoothie, but I also want Starbucks. And I'm trying to decide, smoothie or Starbucks? Cause I want the freaking matcha latte I had the other day was so good. I need to go to Starbucks though. It's gonna be the best bag cause I can get protein in it. Yeah, anyway, I have a question. So my air, which has been on 67, y'all know how you can adjust the temperature? It's been on 67 forever. But today, 67 was blowing hot air. Like the air was hot. Is my air going out? Cause y'all need to let me know because I swear to God, I will run to the mechanic, whoever put the air stuff in there today or whenever y'all see this and let me know because baby i don't have time for it to fully so basically what i mean is let me turn y'all around this is the temperature right if i lower it too low it's real real cold but at 67 it was blowing out like straight ass hot air even though it's been on 67 like i said forever like because that size on 67 I had put this out on low because I was like, what the hell's going on? But if the air is going out, I need to know because I don't want to wait till low ain't even blowing cold no more. And I'm over here dying. I can go get that fixed. Like, that's no problem. I'm not going to be hot. Atlanta too damn hot. I'm not about to be in hot Atlanta. I know nobody calls it that, but I'm telling you, it, I'm, it's too hot. <laughs> Try something new. Tropical Cafe. Mm. I've had their um little flatbread before, but not their smoothie. It's all right. <laughs> I got the dragon fruit smoothie. It was really pretty. I was gonna get the they had a green smoothie, but I was afraid I wasn't gonna like it. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Let me just go ahead. This one wasn't bad, it was like 460 calories. And the green one was like 14, so you know, whatever. So let me go ahead and try that. Y'all, I did pick this up at GNC, this Wicked Cuts chicken stick. So it's buffalo chicken with like cheese. Just wanted to try it. It's 100 grams, Um, no sorry, it's 100 calories and 12 grams of protein. So I was like, oh, that's a cute little snack to have with your smoothie. Let's see what it's hitting for. Mmm. It tastes processed as hell. <laughs> it's definitely processed, but it's okay. So let me finish my errands because it's starting to rain and get on back to the crib. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home. I just went to Target and I didn't get nothing exciting. I got freaking cleaning supplies, so like bleach and a carpet cleaner because now there are mysterious stains on the carpet that were not there before. Mm. Um, I got bleach, carpet cleaner, pine saw. I'm about to mop my floor really good. I really just cleaned all day after I got back from the gym and before I ran my errands because I told y'all Ye has been gone and it's been like I miss him but baby I thrive in loneliness then complain about it I don't know so I'm just trying to get everything clean while he is gone because it's hard to keep stuff clean especially the floor the floor is disgusting because he does that excitement pee and he he's a puppy it doesn't matter so anyway i'm going to finish i'm going to mop i'm going to sweep again or vacuum up again and then i'm going to mop and try to get these things out of my carpet and i'm gonna call it a day um so i wanted to come and talk to you guys because i told y'all initially that i was going to maintain in june um and stop cutting or my cut phase but I don't think I'm going to because, I mean, it's not like I was 100% consistent through the cut phase. And if I go into maintaining, I'm just not going to be... I don't want to say I'm not making no progress because as long as you're, like, consistently lifting heavy, 
you're gonna make progress because the growth of muscle is a very slow one. So if I'm eating at maintenance um, and still lifting heavy, I'm probably gonna perform way better. Therefore, there will be a bit of progress, but y'all, I really, I never thought I would. Be, there would be a day that I'm like looking for leanness, but I slick am. I'm like, yo, yo, hard body brick, right? So I don't know. I say that, but y'all, I hate, I hate, I hate everything. I love the gym. We already know. I love lifting, but this food, like, I want to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it, and that doesn't necessarily mean like eat bad. But, like, I don't want to worry about my calorie intake. I just don't. So, like, because I like eating out. So, like, I had that. Or even little stuff like the slut, not the slushy, the smoothie. I would have wanted to get a wrap. Maybe I want to chop for dinner, which is a salad place. Like, I have picked up the best thing about, like, my fitness journey so far is I have actually picked up a healthy eating habits. Like, I love places that have good veggies. I love me some kava. I add more veggies than I ever did to anything. So that's why I've been trying to get the freaking sweet greens. And I'm going to get there. Chopped was amazing. I have just started eating like, okay, so I went and had hibachi one day this weekend. And the best part to me was the freaking veggies. I'm really like, I'm not a veggie, veggie person. Y'all still know, baby. But I'm saying like, I do like healthier options. Like I'll go to Chipotle. I don't even have to have rice. Like... I eat way healthier than I ever did, but I still want to eat the capacity. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't get because especially people that's like fat shaming and always in somebody's business, they will point out some a person that's overweight and just be like, you eat all this and you eat all of that. And they mostly think that this person eats poorly, but being overweight doesn't necessarily mean you eat poorly. You just eat a lot. <laughs> you can be a fat ass vegan, it's gonna be harder, give it, or give it, depending on what you're eating. Not necessarily, because actually I know people that gain weight um, while they were vegan, but that was mostly because they wanted to eat hella pasta and bread. Because yes, that is vegan, but that shit is high in carbs. But if you're one of those people that's like, you don't eat a lot of like rice and stuff, but you eat a lot of veggies, those people typically are leaner only because do you know how many fucking veggies you have to eat? for it to be a substantial amount of calories. That's why I don't track them. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <sighs> People that have body fat, more than they need to have, or more than they want to have, is just food. It's food that you didn't need and your body stored it. So I don't know why fat is so demonized, says the girl that's chasing leanness. <laughs> Just cause you need that. I mean, I don't demonize it though. I don't care. Like, it's fine. It is what it is. I'm just trying to see something that I ain't never seen. Trying to see where I can go with it. Just trying to push the bill fold, you know? So I'm just like, I don't know. Am I going to continue to cut in June? I know I'm not at least for the whole first week because that's my birthday. And I know I'm going to Cheesecake Factory because you can miss me with the birthday cake. I want a slice of Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake. I love their freaking cheesecake. So, I don't know if I'm going to cut in June. I said I wanted to go into maintenance. I really did. But, baby, the way you've been acting up on these weekends, you're always at maintenance, pretty much. I mean, you're not, you done lost some pounds, but you be living in maintenance quite a bit more than you should or need to be. But, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I need to decide what I'm going to do. Um, also, I'm traveling to Chicago at the end of June. That's only gonna be for a weekend. So it's gonna be like a regular weekend when you eat whatever you want to anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank y'all for, you know, hanging out with me in this fit vlog. We went and we did back, that back day, that back workout was lit. It was very, very lit. So, okay, I have another thing. So when I do fit vlogs, I'm typically just showing y'all the workouts that I do in my routine. And I need to think of a way to like, mix it up because it's gonna get boring because I told y'all I do the same workouts for about six to eight weeks. So I'm trying to think of another format or way that I can like do workouts that aren't my workouts because I do the same shit for a while. And I don't wanna just do like a workout video that's not vlog style because I'm trying to be a vlogger. <laughs> I'm trying to stay in this niche or like expand it because my workout videos are my highest viewed on my channel. I have a workout video that's over a million views and it ranks up a lot of views every month and it also ranks up a lot of subscribers every month. The problem with that is the people that subscribe for that video want other videos like that. 
and I don't necessarily want to give other videos like that. But maybe I should. Why don't I want to do workout videos? Maybe I should. I should think about that. Y'all, I'm a person whose mind is scattered and all over the place. And I do think that sometimes I am upset or feeling down because I lack clarity in a lot of areas of my life. That's some insightful ass shit, but that's really, I lack clarity. I, I'm always unclear. It's always, I don't know, for a lot of shit. It sucks. Maybe I'll gain it in my 30s. We're gonna hope and pray. Check out other videos for me here on the screen. And I'll see you guys in my next one.